good morning y'all i'm trying to moisturize my face a little bit because those pads that i use make my face dry one's not pads it's the liquid that i put onto a pad um but i'm here at Winn dixie for my first order it's one mile and change to the customer for one item i'm very curious to know what the one item is because it says it's 14 pounds and it's worth like $47 and I'm like what the heck is that I don't even know y'all um pretty sure I delivered to this person before I remember her instructions um so that's where I'm at right now at when Dixie it's 9 15 so I got out a little earlier today um than the last couple weeks I know the yesterday I got out a little bit earlier um, but I was only at half a day and today I'm going to be out all day um as of right now Plans could change, but I plan to be out all day trying to make the most um, money that I can. I'm not on DoorDash. I did have Uber Eats on and Instacart as well, but now that I have this um, corner shop, I'm going to just run inside, grab the one item, and then head to get it delivered. That was only for one bag of dog food, y'all. And I think I must have delivered to this lady on either DoorDash or Instacart because it said it was her first time um, with this app so i'm heading to drop it off now i feel like it's going to be a little bit more oh no only one and a half miles so that's not bad i'm gonna head to get this dropped off and get back online for my next order so i also like you know when i don't know if you all know but when you check out with corner shop which you should know because i think i've showed y'all before um the process for it that you have to select how many bags you used and of each bag and it doesn't let you go further without selecting a bag and this 15 pound bag of dog food is not going to fit in a bag um the bag would break it's going to be way too heavy so i just selected a large paper bag just so i could go to the next step to get the directions for the drop off so I drove to a Publix because I wasn't seeing any orders and I got an order for Corner Shop so I'm heading back to Winn-Dixie now. Um, it's kind of far and it's not worth a lot but maybe it'll go up with the customer's tip. I think it was, it's going to Monte Verde so it's probably going to be like six miles, five, six miles for the delivery for like $12 and change is what it's saying. I'm really hoping it's going to go up a little bit more than $12, at least $14, you know. Um, but I don't know. It's only a few items. <clears throat> I'll put the order up on the screen for y'all, but I'm heading to Winn-Dixie now. So he got two beef jerkies, one Tide Pods, and one deodorant. I was at the register and I was trying to tell the lady that I don't think one of the beef jerkies scanned right and she was trying to say she cut me off completely and was like you enter your card number or whatever whatever so I think he pretty much got a free beef jerky and now it's saying that my order requires review because the the amount is significantly different because it doesn't have the eight dollar freaking beef jerky on there so i'm waiting now for them to figure it out and no it's still saying that it's being reviewed so i'm waiting for them to finish reviewing it so i can head for the delivery so basically i had to go in with my one <laughs> beef jerky and get it paid for and upload the receipt to the SOM so I could be on my way so they didn't get a free one I had to go back in and pay for that one a little crazy but hey I really don't care I'm pretty sure I delivered to this kid before I don't know why it's saying it's their first order maybe because I heard that corner shop and uber eats became like one full system and maybe it's his first time ordering since they did that. I don't know because I know for sure I've delivered to this person before. They're going to, it's going to the Monte Verde Academy and I've delivered to a couple kids out there. Um, 
and the one the main road to get back there is still closed which sucks because then you have to go like four miles out of the way just to get there but anyways I am heading for the delivery and I'm gonna try and get there as quick as possible so I can get this dropped off so I finally did get my next order. I don't know if I, I don't think I waited too long. Maybe like 10 minutes after I parked up, um, I did make it all the way back with no orders. They sent me a couple that were not good. Um, one of them, I know I was talking with April and she was, she's in California, so she gets a lot better orders. Um, when she gets the good ones, she so she was saying that she was going like nine miles and she was seeing offers for like seventeen dollars and I'm like, huh? <laughs> so I just screenshotted one that I declined and it was nine miles for seven fifty and that was for one, no seven seventy five for nine point six miles. So. I don't I mean it probably could go up I don't know but for one item it doesn't sound too promising unless it's like a whole big thing for one item so I declined that and I got one from Panera for 3.9 miles for 750 so that sounds a lot better it's four items it can go up so maybe this one will I don't know y'all but I'm almost to Panera now I was in the parking lot right before it with the McAllister's Panera's parking lot was full so I was not sitting there um, but to Panera I go y'all so that order was ready when I went inside and I got it dropped off and it did not go up y'all it stayed the 750 I only got 250 as base pay so it is what it is. Now I'm sitting on the hot spot for DoorDash. It's Flippers Pizza. I'm sitting by BJ's. Flippers is like in the the side of the plaza. And BJ's of course is good with Instacart, but to me BJ's is not that great with Instacart. It might be just be me, I don't know. Um it's not very many orders and a lot of the times their orders are not very good. I think I've been to BJ's like two or three times um in total so that's how many good orders that i've gotten from bj's y'all next orders up i'm heading to jersey mike's and then after this my dash is going to end i've tried to extend it and it's just not happening and i see people pulling up behind me like to park in underneath the tree i parked in two spaces so nobody would park by me because uh, i'm literally right under the tree and now i see two people over there parked under the tree um but uh-oh um, I'm heading to Jersey Mike's for 2.9 miles for $7.25, which is not a bad order at all. Um, I wish I could have got one for BJ's. That would have been nice and ideal because that's where I'm sitting. Yep, people are just like, go ahead, Granny. Go somewhere else because I'm parked here right now. I'm almost done, though. <laughs> like, why are you looking at me when you're coming down the aisle and you're going up the aisle? You're not going to park all the way back here. I've never seen that lady before, so maybe she's just a regular BJ shopper. And she just wanted to park all the way in the back in the shade. That's crazy, I would not, it's way too hot for that. I'm trying to park up at the store to go in the store. Um, but I'm going to Jersey Mike's, y'all. It's right across the street in the next plaza over, so I don't have to go far for that. So it's mostly going to be the delivery. So this, or this order is going to the same apartments from earlier that I went to, and they did not leave me a gate code, and I know you need a gate code to go in there. I mean, I can use a different one, but I think there there's a left gate and a right gate, and whatever code you enter determines the gate that opens up. So... I have a code that I used earlier that opens the left gate, so I guess I'm gonna have to go in that one unless she texts me the gate code once I get closer. Um, I don't know, but the food was ready. I just had to wait my turn to, to get, grab it because it wasn't on the shelf, but she grabbed it from wherever she grabbed it from. So I got that dropped off. They never left the gate code and I parked up like, their building was like this, I guess you would say, instead of like this. So when I parked up, I parked on this side and I looked and the, the apartment wasn't on that side, it was on the other side. So as I was walking up to the other side, I saw somebody standing outside and sure enough, when I 
I didn't cut through the grass. I went, I kept going on the sidewalk and he went inside and it was his apartment. And so like, why didn't you just wait for the food? So I didn't have to set the food down. You were literally right there. I saw you. I acted like I didn't see him, but I did see you and I saw you go inside, which is weird, but my dash ended. I did try to extend it again before I dropped that off. It did not work, y'all. Um, now I'm heading to a Publix to see if I can get some orders from there, use the bathroom, and hopefully I can get some orders from the public since DoorDash is non-existent for me right now. Hopefully with dinner time, I'll be able to make some money with DoorDash. I don't know though, um, if I can get on it. I do have a dash scheduled from 5 to 5.30. Uh, it would be nice if I can extend it, but we'll see when that time comes, y'all. It's only 12 o'clock right now. So I finally got an order at 12.30. When I told y'all it was 12 o'clock, it was like 12.10. So it took me about 20 minutes to get an order um, for $8.28, six items, 11 units for a shop only. Um, they did have some batches that were delivery, but they were ridiculous of deliveries. So I'm like, there's no way I'm doing that. I can't do a ridiculous delivery. If it was okay or decent, I would have did it, but ridiculous, no, I can't do that y'all. Um, so I'm going to go in and grab these 11, well, five items, 11 things total and hurry up and get back online. So this is the setup, how it looks. You have the scanner, the printer, and then their pickup area for like the in-store pickup on the Publix app. And then you see the green parts on the shelves is where the Instacart shoppers put the bags. My bags don't have the labels yet because I was just trying to get some pictures for y'all. And then, so I said that I need the three labels for my three bags. I'm gonna scan this QR code with the scanner that I showed you on the first picture. And then I'm gonna pick where I'm gonna put them, either in the shelf, the fridge, or the freezer. Mine, I think, were all shelf because it was all non-perishable. <clears throat> So I'm going to hit that shelf and then it's not B. I was putting B, but I meant C3 times 3. Add the three bags, confirm. And then before I complete it, I'm going to send her a message just letting her know that it's done. You're welcome. Have a great rest of your day. <laughs> it's all set for you with three bags in total and then I'll complete the batch and I don't know some reason it keeps putting me offline so I'm just gonna hit go online again y'all but this is what the fridges look like they usually have two fridges and then one freezer that's the same concept three shelves and then f2 f3 f1 you just put it there and then you would do the same thing. Instead of hitting the shelf, you would just go to the freezer, hit F2, how many bags, and that's it, y'all. So I took another Instacart. It's kind of a high mileage one, but it's not too many items, so I should be able to get it done pretty fast. Ugh, they have ice cream and it's going seven miles, y'all. I don't know why. Um, but it's $22.35 for 6.9 miles for 14 items, 28 units. So hopefully I can get it done pretty quick if they have everything. So if they don't have everything, that's when I, it causes issues, which the last one for the shop only, they did not have everything. So I had to message her, but she messaged me right back. I did try to like record the process or like where how everything is set up at this Publix. So I can kind of show y'all a little bit um, I'm still working on, I need to grab like a mount, not a mount, but like a, an adapter to hold my phone and the camera at the same time. So I can try and record it at the same time. Cause if I'm recording on my phone, then I can't do the process. It's going to stop recording. I think, I don't know. You know what? I didn't even try, but I'm pretty sure it's going to stop recording once I go off the camera. So uh, but anyways, I'm going to head inside now and try and get this order done. All right, really quickly, I just got that dropped off. So now my Instacart total is $30.48. 
she was a super nice lady um her house smells so good i said oh your house smells so good she says i have a candle burning <laughs> um but i'm gonna head back towards that way and see what i can get next so I didn't get any orders from that store again. They sent like two and I don't understand why they're putting three orders together that are like 12 miles and above when there's a whole closer Publix. Like I don't understand that. Why wouldn't you send those orders to the Publix that is closer by instead of 12, 14, 20, you know, 19 miles. I, I don't understand it. Um, so I'm like, you know what, let me just leave because I was able to get on a dash. And then I got one for the CVS in Mineola for $9 on Instacart. So I took that one. I'm heading to deliver it now. It's 2.7 miles. Um, and then um, my dash is about to end. Actually, it probably just ended because I was not able to extend it. I tried and tried and tried and I wasn't able to. So... I just gotta continue with this delivery and then see what I want to do after. Y'all, it has been a hot minute. I've drove around a little bit and the last order I got was that CVS order. I don't even know if I told y'all about it. Um, the one that I did for Publix for the $22, it went up a little bit. Um, she raised the tip afterwards, so it was really nice of her. And then I did the CVS for $9, seven items for 3.4 miles. That was around 2.30. I just got my next order at 4 o'clock. What? And I'm in hot spot. I don't understand why. I'm sitting by the other Publix where there's other restaurants. No good orders. So I'm here finally at New York Chinese restaurant for 2.2 miles for $6.50. Um, and then it's like 4 4 15 right now so we're getting into dinner time so hopefully i can make some more money with dinner time i am so annoyed y'all they sent me an add-on while i was in there for over the top pita which is kind of like in the front of the plaza so i said you know what let me take it because i haven't gotten any orders in a long time so it'll add to my total well then i so i accepted that and i'm still waiting for the first order and then they sent me one on uber eats for one and a half miles for ten dollars i was so upset <laughs> like really you couldn't have sent me that before i accepted the double doordash because i would have definitely got off the first doordash to do that maybe they'll go up and it'll be better because really now this is going to be more than ten dollars because I had two orders, but I don't know. Crazy, his craziness, craziness. It is so hot out, y'all. I mean, it's hot out every day, really, but. Come on, I'm waiting for you. Thank you. It's like, all I did was walk to the car and I'm sweating. Are you taking that first spot where they left? I don't want to drive up there and then they they take it. No, they're not taking it. All right, well, I shall take that one then. Third spot, so I don't have to go very far at all for this one. All right, so both of those have dropped off and I did get both, I mean, I did get more for both of those. So that was good. Um, I think I got, hold on, let me look at it real quick. I already got took my next order as well so I'm trying to get across the street now so for the first drop off I think it was supposed to be six dollars or no it was supposed to be six fifty and I got seven dollars and then I just dropped off that one it was supposed to be six dollars and I got seven fifty for that one and I'm heading across the street now because when I was pulling in I took an order for Publix for 0.9 miles for I mean 0.5 miles so half a mile for nine dollars for four items four units so I'm at the light waiting to go across the street to grab these four items and get it dropped off I'm still sitting at this light but I just looked at the batch details for this and I've actually delivered to this person before and I think it was food last time it's one of those ones where you have to drive around to the back and go up the stairs to the unit and all that good stuff um, so I definitely remember delivering to him one time before. I think it was a leave at the door and he met me at the door. 
up the stairs um, last time. So we'll see if he does that this time. So I've been sitting for maybe like five minutes and I got my next order for Cosmic Wings, which I've never heard of. Um, dang it, pressed the wrong button. Um, but, but when I zoomed in, it's in Applebee's. So I'm gonna head to Applebee's for 2.6 miles for 6.75 y'all, pretty good order. I did show y'all but I just don't remember I think it was eight dollars and change <laughs> um, but when I pulled up I saw an order pop up for Publix for $27 um, and there is heavy pay so I'm a little nervous about that I, I think it's a bunch of like you know like the gold peak tees in the case like six in a case or however many are in a case they got a bunch of those um, a bunch of like deli meats which they prepare for you so some of the stuff is going to be prepared for me which is nice I just have to go and pick it up um, but it's $27.51 26 items 56 units so it is a lot and I think they're still adding stuff because now it says 27 items 57 units um, but that's still okay y'all so I'm heading to the Publix now I still have two miles to go till I get there so I'm surprised this even popped up on my phone um, but hey I'll take it y'all <laughs> you guys so yesterday I think I finished probably I don't even know y'all probably like 7 7 30 with that order <clears throat> let me see if I can see what time I took it I took it at 5 48 6 48 so I think I finished like 7 o'clock <clears throat> um they had a gate and they didn't leave me a gate code or anything so I had to wait for them to respond to um, open the gate for me they did give me a code but then they just opened it for me so that was good and then when I pulled up I was struggling I was going e -e 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 -e, to try and back up into the driveway so I could just walk less with the it was like 11 cases of tea and stuff so I tried to do that um got it dropped off so I had some feedback from Instacart it was let me see here. I'm trying to read the computer. Quality items, extra effort, helpful chat, <clears throat> then smart bagging and smooth delivery. So that's pretty awesome. And then I did get a comment that said Marley was very good. Um, so that's good. Um, yesterday with DoorDash, I did $38.50. That's for two different dashes for $23.25 and then $15.25. Um, I did, let's see, so Instacart itself, I did $81.25 for 26 
for five batches. Two of them were about $27, so that was really good. That helped me out a lot. And then with Instacart, I mean, not Instacart, but Corner Shop, I did the two orders. Um, the first one was about $10.92, and then the second one was $19.41 because that 1.3 times booster promo or whatever it was called. Um, for a total of $30.33. So altogether, I did hit my goal. So that's really good. Um, I don't think I had any other issues besides not being able to get in the gates. And then I showed you a little bit more of the corner shop. Not corner shop. Y'all can't talk. Um, a little bit more of the shop only process. Um, but if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I will see you guys in my next video. Have a great weekend. A young boy being lay dreaming. And in the dream... Yeah!